Well, all eyes are on the UK today as Prime Minister Theresa May is on a tour hoping to salvage Brexit. Let's check in with uh, Haley Wood with Business in Vancouver now for the latest. So Haley, this is going to have implications around the world depending on whether she's able to find any success. Absolutely, and I'm sure there are a lot of businesses very keen to see what the outcome is, but at this point, it's quite uncertain. There was supposed to be a vote today on the Brexit deal. Instead, Theresa May has returned to European capitals to try and ask for changes to the deal and on the controversial aspects of it. But that answer has been no, so there will still be a vote ahead of January 21st. And then after that, there's about two more months for the UK to leave the EU if it chooses to do so and if politicians vote in favour of moving forward with Brexit. But a lot of uncertainty, and we saw that reflected in the pound. It hit an 18-month low this week against the dollar. A lot of concern, too, in the UK with politicians furious that they haven't yet had a chance to vote on Brexit. All right, and now turning to more local story here. This has to do with legal cannabis stores in Vancouver. I understand you have some numbers looking at just how much they'll have to pay for licensing. That's right. If we look at Kimberley, and that's the only jurisdiction in British Columbia that has a legal private recreational cannabis store, it costs about $100 to get a store up and running. In Vancouver, that's 331 times that price, so $33,000 plus 100 there. And on top of that, there's going to be provincial fees of $7,500 for an application, $1,500 every single year. So we're looking at over $40,000 to operate a retail storefront in Vancouver. The city says this is because it needs to recoup some of the costs that it's going to spend in time and resources to review all of these applications. But of course, there could be implications. The businesses could pass those costs on to consumers, and they're quite significant costs to do business here in Vancouver. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, and do we have a timeline as to uh, when some of those might be approved now that the licensing uh, fee is known? It looks like we're looking to next year, and the city of Vancouver said they're still waiting on some clarification from the province. The province will be charging things like security fees, and we're still waiting on elaborations for that, but looking to 2019 to see, to see some new stores here in Vancouver. All right. Haley Woodman, Business in Vancouver. Thanks, Haley. Thank you.